at 5.30, state lawmakers getting ready to rewrite the marijuana law that voters passed here in November. It's been five months since voters agreed that marijuana should be legalized, but lawmakers are still trying to figure out how. I'm Paula Evans. And I'm David Wade. Liam is off tonight. Among the issues that still need to be sorted out, how much to tax marijuana, the cost of treating addiction, and should ex-convicts be allowed to be part of the legal pot industry? As WBZ's John Keller shows us, complex questions about the new law just keep on coming. We cannot overprice and overtax the legalization of marijuana. We can't. We don't want the black market to continue to dictate the flow of this substance. But testimony in this final public hearing on pot law revisions underscored the fact that it's a delicate balancing act between overtaxing and undertaxing. County sheriffs told the legislators they want 5% of the pot revenue earmarked for a marijuana addiction treatment fund. Not everyone will smoke responsibly, much the same way many people do not drink responsibly. This will lead to additional individuals ending up in the correctional system in need of treatment. That would push the tax bite on marijuana to 17 percent, comparable to what other legal pot states extract. My name is Shay Avasa, and I'm a medical marijuana patient. This man and other medical pot users argued for keeping prices down to promote access to medicinal treatment. And the complexity of the issues raised by the new law was underscored by this convicted felon's plea for scrapping its ban on drug offenders working in the marijuana industry. I'm looking to buy my trade. I'm a marijuana grower. I'm good at what I do. I don't want to be left out. In fact, it was argued, past offenders should be at the head of the line for a cut of the take. Because many of them are victims of this uh, uh, failed war on drugs, I believe that they should have um, some type of preference and being part of one of the teams relative to, uh, to ownership. Um, it would be um, a poetic justice. So with the public testimony over, Paula, it's now up to legislators to rewrite the law with a final product expected by June, hmm. about a year ahead of opening day for legal pot shops. You can almost hear viewers asking, you know, whether you agreed or not, voters said they wanted this legalization. Can't we just learn from what happened in Colorado? It's not like we're reinventing the wheel here. Uh, well, no, this is Massachusetts. We are reinventing the wheel to okay. a great extent. That's just the way it works. Think of the botched rollout of the medicinal marijuana dispensaries and think about the casino industry here in Massachusetts more than five years later we still don't have an open casino and in the meantime the bottoms falling out of the industry that's just the way we do things here well, the clock is ticking all right John Keller okay. thanks so much David